That's the power of the cameras of live people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I think The Office is probably... It's elite, right? The greatest comedy. Oh, do you know what we need to do? do you, have you seen people doing the tier list? We should do one for these shows. Well, the top tier for me would be like The Office. Just to, uh, to clarify for the people, that's US or UK? The US first, but the UK is also is also up there. I wish the UK had more, more seasons. Because the UK... It only had a couple, didn't it? Yeah. I, think, I don't think I've ever watched a show where... I've literally laughed, felt emotional, probably cry, like wanted to cry all like in one. Just the, it just has ah, so many things. It's, it's one of the only few shows I've watched um the whole way through more than once. Oh really? Yeah, I've watched it. I've watched. I've watched it a few times. So not even Friends. Or, or Friends. Friends. I watched Friends. Um, I've also watched Friends all the way through a couple of times. Like How literally about, from start to finish. There's a show that I've watched recently, not all the way from the beginning again, but like from let's say season seven, and that was How I Met Your Mother. I've seen that as well, but only once. Only once. What did you think of it? I really. I love. I love. I, I really. Yeah. yeah. I really uh, I, it. If I was, I think the ending was was dead. But oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I agree with you. But every episode before that, man, I was laughing again. Like, cause only cause my housemate was watching again. I just jumped in for one episode and then next thing i found myself watching it over like next episode next episode because you just get dragged back into them and right at the end i was just like damn i'm gonna miss these characters and i've only watched like a season or two but it just it brought me back to how i was when i first started watching it as in like you really do invest in the characters and obviously the most important thing is whether you can relate to the characters that's what makes a good show a good show and a bad show a bad show is i think that is the thin ice whether you can relate to the characters characters what do you think i agree i think you'd be surprised when you look at, at how much time you've, you've invested in shows like i think about for example if you sit back and you think for example there's like 200 and something episodes of friends and i've seen every single one at least twice and some even more some even more like, for think sure. of how much how much time you spent on that or the office which has nine seasons and probably a hundred and something episodes as well how much time you are spent on that watching it at least at least twice every single episode and some even more again you just it really they, even though it's like sometimes i feel like sometimes you've learned little things in there oh for me, that's what i like about them it's, yes it's the realness sometimes there's like little life lessons you learn in these shows and you're like oh that's kind of cute or oh that's that's knowledgeable and i feel like sometimes because i'm someone i i know so much about like ran- I know so many random facts I know so many like my general knowledge is quite good and that's because I actually I watch I watch a lot of um like television I watch a lot of documentaries I watch a lot of like videos and stuff like that because I, I don't know it's just something I read a lot as well but it's something that I I just like and like, I pick up so much from it I remember I was saying to you that how like I'm someone who I'm like I'm happy staying at home I'm not really someone who like I'm not like I've said in the previous episode I'm not really someone who is fussed about going out all the time like I can I can be happy at home watching watching something reading something and because of that I know so many random facts and that's also because of like all these shows that I watch so I, that's why I know a lot about like so like and also another show for example like Parks and Rec I learned so many little things about these little like what happens in like a little town in America and stuff like that all from watching all these kind of shows and for me like I don't know like I just I just really enjoy it uh, I just really enjoy them but if I, was to, if I was to create a list of like my top one I would say The Office is definitely number one we have lots of doubt Friends would be up there Big Bang Theory would also be up there I really I think that was the first ever show I binge watched from the beginning you saw I, I wouldn't I, think, put, I wouldn't put Big Bang Theory Big Bang theory in the elite list for some reason yeah, it is to me you would put it something it is an elite something list, sort of prevents me from doing that i don't know why it's because i feel like if i was to compare it to shows like how i met your mother or malcolm in the middle or modern family I, it just doesn't quite hit right as all the office it just doesn't you know have the same feeling big breath, big breath theory is up there for me tell me it made science cool <laughs> yeah cool. True say, true say. like in a weird way because they're not exactly the coolest characters. Like Sheldon Leonard aren't exactly the coolest people. Further thing. <laughs> watching that, watching him yeah, far from it. Um, but watching that show made me want to like do science even more. I don't know. I had just so that's why for me it's I, I it has a feel good factor to it for me. That's why it's up there for me as well. As in not to say it's not good. I like not to crap on no, it. No, no, no. Like, but if I was to have not. that that difference between an elite list and a good list, I I've, something prevents me from putting it into elite. And I think maybe I just didn't. I loved it again. I loved it. I laughed all the way through it. But maybe I just didn't quite connect with the characters as much as I did in other shows. Like for example example scrubs I, I i love the the little bromance between two main characters or office you kind of invest and end up loving all the characters in that show f- literally from top to bottom of that list and then did you see the, the meme about how the different characters in, in the office would call coronavirus nah tell me uh, it's a classic ad. and it was literally something like okay jim would be like okay so it's called coronavirus dwight would be like actually it's covid19 <laughs> Shriek, the shriek? No, not shriek. What's the weird packer? Packer would be like, 
uh, it's Chinese virus, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and then Oscar would be like, actually, it's SARS cov two. <laughs> and he would be like, it's Big Rona. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot his name. I look at his face, but I, can't, I forgot his name. The one that his name is actually real. That's his real name. And it's actually the weird old man. I forgot his name. Anyway, oh. he'd, he'd speak Mandarin because he speaks Chinese. Do you remember him? I know who you're talking about. It begins yeah. with a Z, wasn't it? I can't remember. Uh, it'll, come, it'll probably come up to me later. Kevin would be like weird flu. <laughs> <laughs> Angela would be like wrath of God. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah. Michael would be like kung flu. <laughs> <laughs> and Stanley would be like... I don't care what it's called. I get to work from home. <laughs> <laughs> and that for me, I thought that was a That's perfect That's accurate. Meme, That's accurate. accurate. It's so accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that, was, that was good. I hope they make a reunion episode. And I th- not even, actually, no, they were going to do a reunion season, you know. Sometimes I, I don't think that's a good idea. I think sometimes it's left to just leave things. I think you're right. And I think it's not even sometimes. I think probably on most occasions. Well, it, it depends on how long after. Like, for example, you don't want to leave it for so long that it's lost its magic, as well as the fact that time can change, as in the circumstances. So the, the show just might not fit into the current ways of living. For example, a lot of the sh- uh, the jokes on Friend won't kind of pass in, in the, these days. And, or I think... I- yeah, remember there was, a, um, there was like a thing where people were saying that, like there's so many like sexist jokes, racist jokes in Friends. Yeah. So, like I'm- now it wouldn't, it wouldn't actually um, pass. But I think Friends is a show that can adapt though. I mean, just... Yeah, but, those jokes in those times it would pass i mean we've obviously lived through it and in those times it will people will find it funny and i think yeah sure the jokes that they used 20 years ago they can't bring it back but that's not to say that they can't adapt and find jokes that are suitable for this day and age yeah i guess so. i guess so. i guess i guess it's not it wouldn't be that much hard it wouldn't be that hard to adapt friends whereas i think like the office because the, like if, if you think about what they're selling paper it seems like quite an old industry and like, and which is probably as it was like towards the end of it anyway, they started to like start selling tablets and it started because it was, it was dying out. So for them to bring it back, it, it maybe it'd be like a, what are people doing now sort of season as opposed to going back to the office. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think so. Yeah. So for, that's why it'd, it'd be, it'd be interesting. But I think I, I honestly would prefer to like leave as is. And if I, if I miss it, I'd rather go back and watch the old episodes again, as opposed to looking forward to new episodes. Cause I feel like I'll just ruin it and we don't want them to ruin it. Cause you know what we like? You're just ruining it. You're just ruining it. You're ruining it. <laughs> <laughs>